So I have done a reading here. This is to just give me insight. I got a lot of information coming in right now. Whew, and I do mean a lot. So I have asked um, Divine Mother, Divine Father, just the whole team, you know what I mean? Guardians, ancestors, all of them, spirit guides, ascended masters, all of them, for insight on basically what's happening right now. What What is happening? A deeper insight, so let's go. And I've already mixed the cards real good. I, I haven't looked at any. I have them in order the way they told me to pull them and how it's set up. Okay, first card. Leap. Now, I'm going to read through them and then I'm going to put it together, the message that I'm getting from it. Uh, you go first, the universe will catch you. Awakening and gen um, energetic upgrades. A new way of being. Mm, come on, baby. Talk to me, spirit. Birthing a new age. Oh, my goodness. Birthing new creations. Dreaming a new world into being. Now, mind you, I'm asking, what is going on right now? The overall. Like, we know there's things happening. We... We see these portals are being activated. Stargates are opening. You guys, I've been getting major downloads. Listen to this reading. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this right. Uh, oh, Lord. Lemuria. I can't say the word, you guys. Creating heaven on earth. It's happening. I'm trying to see if I can say that word. I can't pronounce it. Share your voice. Yes, spirit. I'm doing it. Come out of the cave. Come on, baby. The initiation. Mm. Pillar of light. Come on. The vibration is rising. Come on, y'all. Y'all better tap in, plug in trying to tell you inner temple tune into the portal of your heart this reading is on point oh my goodness star seed what lights you up pretis oh my goodness how are you being called to step up and lead come on baby talk to me spirit Let me move these down some. Now, this ain't for the collective. This was just a, a reading for insight for me so I can know what it, what, what, what is the big picture. Like, it's a lot. Oh, let me see. It's a lot going on. Uh, 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 um, um, Emera? Emera? I don't know how to say this, you guys. Where are you being called to journey to? Exactly. Oh, Get grounded. Come, man, listen. Empaths, highly sensitives, connect with nature. I know it. Last card. My bonus card. Oh, my God. Ha! Warrior woman. Y'all, y'all better stop playing. Warrior woman. Listen to this. Man, this reading is off the chain off the chain thank you spirit i love you so much leap come on stop being afraid you've been called this is awakening energy um energetic upgrades this is the birthing of a new age a new earth you you can dream your reality right now this is what it is we are creating heaven on earth it's happening we need you to share your voice. We came to you. We've been coming to you. We need you to speak to the people. There's a lot of people talking right now that are book smart, that are basing things off of old knowledge, traditional knowledge. I ain't read no book, y'all. You can call me a litter. Go ahead. I got people hit me up talking about it's uh, quantum physics and this and that. And you sound ignorant. You don't even know what you're talking about. You're right, I don't. 
Because I'm going straight to source. Source is coming to me. I have these angelic beings, extraterrestrials, you name it, surrounding me, coming to me, talking to me. That's all I do. This is all I know, you guys. I can't pronounce half the words. I don't know how to spell half of it. But I can talk and write my ass off when they talk to me. See, I got a different type of wisdom, a different type of knowledge. The initiation. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the video I posted a couple days ago where I said I fell asleep and I saw first I thought it was the sun hovering over me. And it flashed three times. And this, this uh, I couldn't describe it, you guys. I said magnetic, like a magnetic energy radiated through my body. No, it was energetic upgrades. I was being activated. Then when I, and I woke up, I fell, I dozed off again. Second time, I was Mother Gaia. I was Earth. And it hovered over Earth. I saw space. But it didn't flash this time. It was just hovering over um, Earth. Yes. The upgrade, the activation. So what, what um, I said, DNA activation. No, it was DNA upgrade. Now, DNA activation. Come on, stop playing with me. Y'all sleeping on me. The lights are here to activate. Pillar of light. Stop playing with me. Your vibration is rising. Come on, you are the oracle. Yes. I am creating a portal for y'all. Step through it. Get your upgrade. Get your activation. Plug in. Inner temple. Devotions. Tune into the portal of your heart. That's why I said I am a light worker. Born into it. Not. I'm not interested in this stuff. This stuff came to me. This is who I am. I'm not from this planet, you guys. I have never felt I belong here. I've been attacked since I was two years old. I've been being attacked by the people on this planet. You understand? My family tried to tear me down. You don't understand. Like, seriously, I am a light worker. Some of y'all are going to need assistance with the light worker. Some of y'all's pain is so rooted, so deep. Some of y'all's pain carried from your past lives. Some of y'all have karmetic debt. Y'all don't even aware of it. Generational curses and you just can't. You're trying to get away from it, but you can't. Because you need someone like me to clear you of it. I know what I'm talking about. I try to help my mom. My mother was embedded in it. Like it, it enslaved her. The dream I kept having, I had a video on it. She was like, they won't let me leave. This was the dream I had of her death. Like how she was going to die. My mother died. The dream I had my sister for two years, she died. I saw it, y'all. I seen this stuff when I was a kid. They could not escape it. They couldn't, they wouldn't let me help them. She sent me away. My mother sent me away for two months. When I came back, I didn't even recognize neither one of them, my mother or my sister. Because they were gone. The, the, the darkness had consumed them. Starseed, what lights you up? Me helping, healing, leading people to their light, their own inner light. I will bring the light, my light. I would create a light, a portal, a port. I'm sorry, I said it backwards, a portal of light. But that is only to help you heal until you light your own light. I'm not trying to be your light, baby. I am not trying to be Messiah. Everybody is always wanting a Messiah, someone to worship. That's not what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to do is help you heal so you can light your own light. You are not cursed. That was a lie. That is not our God. We do not serve that God. If you want to, you can. You're going to live up under that curse. You're going to live up under every lie that's in that darn Bible. That is not the truth. It told you you were cursed. You were no good. You had to be reborn. It's a lie to make you dis, uh, detach from yourself, to make you abandon every all the qualities about who you are. It's not the truth, you guys. That's why most of y'all, you know, you, some may click off and be like, oh, she tripping. That's an uh, abomination, da, 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 da. But you still suffering. You, st you, you serving this God, but you still suffering. You still praying for the same thing. You still got pain in you. And, and the ones that don't, they're brainwashed. They have forced themselves to believe that they are healed and that they're doing better. And when they go to doctors and realize that they're not, man, stop it. I'm not, I never, listen, this word they're messing up at. I am not saying God is not real. I'm not saying Jesus wasn't real. What I'm saying is the way it was delivered to us, it's not correct. That's what I'm saying. It's not right. 
And he was trying to tell us that. But the people wanted to worship him instead. They didn't want to hear the message. They didn't want to understand what he was trying to teach us. He said, by your faith, you were healed. I didn't heal you. You did. But they still worship him. And they still worship him today. They carry a cross that, oh my God, they carry a cross around. Come on, pick up your cross. You mean pick up your curse? That cross represents death. Let me give you one of these keys. Take this key I'm trying to give you. That's not no darn, that don't represent life. It represents death. Pick up your cross. Just put everything down, all your materials and possessions of the world and pick up your cross. Pick up your curse is what they're saying. Shit come out of the siapa. Man, let those who have spiritual ears hear the message. Let it resonate all through. I bless you. Feel that spirit. Man, I'm here to deliver the truth. I'm here to deliver the truth. And I have no education behind it. I am illiterate when it comes to the books. Baby, I've been walking in the spirit since the day I was born. Since the day I was born. Now, will I read some material when they lead me to it? Yes, I will. But baby, the material I'm reading, y'all don't even know about it. Y'all don't even know about it. It's not the books that y'all reading. This is my thing. Anything you consume that causes you to have to study, to have to test, you know, uh, uh, take notes and all that. That is new information, new knowledge. Baby, all the information is already there. It's already stored within you. When you read something, it should give you confirmation. You should be like, oh, okay, yeah, that's, I just didn't know how to word it right. Or, or, or it, it, it makes sense now. I get it now. It, it was the missing piece. Like, oh, it made, click. I do not consume new knowledge. I refuse to. When my mother handed me my first Bible and said, I was so excited. I, I grew up in church. I was so excited. She said, but um, only make sure you only read the New Testament. Don't don't read that Old Testament. How you going to hand me a book and tell me only read half the book? I knew then that day. I said, oh, yeah, I can't wait to turn 18 because I am going to throw this whole religion thing away. <laughs> My mom used to always say, you're going to go to hell. Yep, you're going to go to hell. You're a curious, wandering spirit. But I knew the truth. I saw the spirits. I saw the demons that everybody was preaching about. Like y'all preach about it, but do you see them? Because I see them. I see the one standing right beside you. Matter of fact, I see one inside of you. And you steady preaching. And I see a demon in you. But you're steady preaching. You steady talking to all these people. And I see all the demons and attachments to the people that's in the, in, 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 in the, the seating area. Crying and hallelujah. Look, hallelujah. It ain't nothing but demons on them. The monkeys on their back. I saw that as a child. I hated going to church. Some churches, I hated it because it was so many demons in there. And, 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 and the lady sitting there cussing up a storm, talking about she highly anointed. And she calling the pastor all kind of MFers. And I'm sitting in front of my old little kid over there. Ain't no adult. And I'm trying to tell the people, they I don't know if they believe me or if they did whatever. They, oh, she highly anointed. She on fire for the Lord. Huh? Now, I understand cuss words are just words. I cuss. That does not make you evil. That's the energy behind it. That lady has so much negative energy in her and evil, evil, evil. I'm talking about it made my skin crawl. Let's finish this so I can wrap this up. What are you being called to journey to? Empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature. Warrior woman. Come on, man. I was, man, I was sent here. I was sent here for this moment, for this moment in time, for this moment in time. And they told me in the beginning. They told me in the beginning, okay, that the number is going to be small. They showed me 20 years ago when this time came. And, and, and Go ahead. You can bring people with you, but don't you force, don't you dare force nobody. Don't twist nobody's arm. Don't, don't, don't put no fear in people. There's speakers out here today teaching and they're trying to put fear on people. Because see, if you could get somebody to be afraid, they'll do anything you tell them to do. They will listen to your every word if you put the fear in them. That's what the Bible did. It put fear in y'all. And it made all of us, if we don't do it, we're going to go to hell. Come on, y'all. I need y'all to wake up. This is it, y'all. I got, I got a lot more videos I'm about to drop. I got to get out here. I got to get to Kroger's before it closes. I love you guys. I'm going to post this right now. Um... 
Look at them names. Look at that. Look at that. When I tell you I've been getting some downloads, I've been getting downloads. Honey, we got 12. Uh, hold on. 12 up. Uh, wait a minute. Where the paper go? Where the paper go? I don't want to say it wrong because I got so much information. I just. Hold on, y'all. Wait a minute. Eight deserts, 12 mountains, and four rivers. Oh, my goodness. Listen, listen, listen. Portals and stargates have been, forget activated, they open. Access granted. Big major download for the past two days. Um, it's a lot of information coming in at once. I really, really need to get these up because I don't want to wait and then stuff start happening. They're like, oh, she found that online and, you know, she's copying off of stuff. No, 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 no. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I might not post it the day I get the information. I realize I got to stop doing that. I got to stop delaying. I procrastinate because I got a lot going on, a lot of information coming in, and I get overwhelmed. And, I, and I'm trying to stay, what, what they say, get grounded. <laughs> All right, you guys, I love you. Um, man, show the girl some love. You need to like this video, share it, send it to somebody. Like, like we said, we're not here to force no one. I am not. My door is open. You're welcome home. If you've been seeking, searching, you found me, please. I don't believe in coincidence. Stop questioning it. Understand it's shaky. It's scary. You're stepping off of your um, false foundation. You're becoming undone. This is this is new, baby. I, you think I didn't get stripped? You think I didn't go through the process of becoming undone? Oh, my goodness. It was like taking away my comforter, my blankie. My pacifier, my bottle. Come on, man. My favorite pair of socks. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? I got stripped bare naked. I had to let go of everything. Every foundation I had created in my mind that was taught to me. And I started from scratch. Even when I started, because I'm, I'm a student myself. I love to learn. I love to learn. But see, my teachers are up. They're high. They, they, you know what I mean? They are higher beings, period. I, I started seeking knowledge and I went, you know, looking for it. And I found myself in a space of confusion and the information that they had gave me. It started to conflict with the information I was trying to bring in. Before I knew it, I had a spirit of hate. I had a spirit of prejudice. I had a spirit of I'm a God and you're not. And all this craziness started going on. And before you know it, my vibration started dropping. I got sick as a dog. I started fighting for my life again. And shit just went south. And then Mother Isis rolled up on me. And she said, hold up, hold up, wait a minute. Love is the highest frequency. What is you doing? Because you're, you're not vibrating on love, baby. It, 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 you know, and she let me know that. And it, and it was a breakthrough. And I realized, I, I, what have I done? And I had to come out from among these teachers. And see, and now they're trying to change their shit up real quick. Because some of their students that heard my video and they didn't went back and challenged her. And let me tell you another thing they're trying to do. Take the attention off of them and put it on somebody else. So if her students has come back, listen, I need y'all take heed to this real quick. Because I seen her do it. I seen some of these teachers. It ain't one, it's a couple of them out there doing this. When you confront them, when it's thrown at them, they, they address it real quick. And then they point out, put a spotlight on somebody else that's early on, that's still awakening, that ain't really got nothing up under their belt yet. That, you know what I'm saying? And be like, oh, oh this, this one really doing it. This the one y'all need to be worried about. No, we ain't talking about that person. We talking about you. Your false light teacher connected to something that ain't even of the source. Come on, y'all. This ain't the time to be playing. All right, I love y'all. I got to go. Peace.